How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a product review on the XDM uh, tire bag. Now, this is actually $39 at Super Cheap Auto, or you can pay $45 at BCF, uh, which is weird because XDM is more of a brand under BCF and it's more expensive there. That's alright. So this is um, what it comes like. Now I've used it uh, a little while now, um, but if you look at the reviews online, they're, they're pretty bad. And all the stitching with the zip here gets ripped and stuff. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you my honest review, we're going to put it on the tyre and I'll show its features. Alright, so I've got the bag on now. Now these straps, they're long enough to fit on a 35 inch rear tyre. So if you have, this tyre here is a 32, if you have a 35, the straps are still long enough. Now, um, it's, it's a good height here, obviously it depends how high your car is. But the straps, they pretty much go on one will go over the back of the tire and will go down here and it just clips underneath here and then you tie it back there and you do the same on this side so it's pretty uh, pretty easy and then there's actually one strap that goes along the back of the tire now some people actually loosen the nuts off the tire just so you can bring it out a bit because there's not much room to get your hands in here um, but luckily because my tire rim is a negative offset you can actually get your hand in there pretty good um, so you can just um, like tying up all these straps and stuff so they're not dangling but this is generally how it looks now a thing to mention is there's a lot of strain on these straps right here because this is where the weight's pulling it from and I can just see the stitching here is slowly coming apart very slowly um, but that's just one thing to keep in mind that with the other big brands like crash pad and stuff they've got heavy duty stitching bigger straps and it just comes down you know this is one third the price of a crash pad so you could buy three of these for the price of one, but your crash pad would probably last longer. So, just things you're gonna consider. Now, at the bottom here, there's actually a drain hole, just for if water gets in there, or you've got your muddy recovery gear in there, um, it will drain out the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's just there. And um, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it's just all black, nice and simple design. Kings, I don't like the blue. I think it looks a bit dumb. Um, but the thing here, the zips. If you look online, everyone says the zips will break. So uh, mine's not too bad because I haven't had been using it probably as much as those other people but it, it does the job for what it needs to do and then you can just tuck that bit over there like that. Alright guys now this bag is 100% polyester and it's got a PVC coating on it. Now so do all the other bags so that doesn't really matter but thing is would I recommend this product? If you're going camping for one weekend and you know you're going to have lots of rubbish to store or you're going to have like recovery straps or something I'll say yes because it's very cheap and affordable and it does what it needs to do. If you wanted to buy one to have in your car 24-7 and uh, like go touring like a big lap of Australia, I probably wouldn't get this one. I'll probably spend more money because you want it to be quality and last a long time. So a quick little weekend trip, maybe once every now and then, I'll get one. That's why I got one. But if you want to do like a full-on trip or you know you're going to be touring a lot more and you're going to have it on there all the time, I'd probably pay the extra $100 and get one that's actually got heavy duty straps and will go the distance because this I don't think will go the distance but that's just my honest opinion but and um, if you don't believe me just look at the reviews on this product and you'll have a see that they're pretty similar so um, yeah I'm afraid that's it guys that's just a quick video um, thank you so much for watching hope you have a little bit of an idea if you want to get one of these or not and um, I'll see you guys in the next video